Hi, welcome to my tutorial. This time, I'll show you how to override the original file without harming them. First, you'll just make just like a mod a folder. Let's call it override and let's make a module data. For this sample, first I'm, I'm gonna take a truth and copy it, edit it, and I install it smoothly just to show you that the effect of overriding is completely safe. I'm just gonna take the name of our folder. I will show you what happens if we didn't change this. First, let's let us copy this inside modules shortcut. Or the modules folder itself. I'm gonna delete this so that I won't be confused. See this? It was identified as Tailworks work, so that's not good. So we're gonna change it back into force that's that's the purpose of official value it is colored gray or brown but the default module is the purpose of that is you cannot toggle it like this so in case you don't want it you're gonna have to delete it manually and reinstall it if you want it back. So this will be our our sample for for now. We're gonna change its armor into a blanjan surgeon. Let us save it first. And then let's go to XML to where our mod is. Let's find landing surgeon. Let's take its armor set. By the way, this is inside our override folder it's not from original file now in a, in a serial record let's paste this and let's delete what we don't need this is how override or overhaul is made troop overhaul Now this Acera recruit will now have the armor saved and then let's just load our save game.
could be there. Let's save it again. I'm gonna exit the game. And I'm gonna put our our mod above sandbox score so that override mod will override sandbox score without overriding it. Now we can we can do this again just for the final sample. Let's let's just remove all the equipment just to show you that it can change during reload. Even our recruit inside our party. Now, in case you want to override kingdoms, for example, inside sandbox, there is this SP kingdoms, SP clans. You need a new save because kingdom is spawned or settlement, even settlement and other other entities that need new game because it is spawned during new game for example if you copy this empire and create something like this then do the same it will override this kingdom whatever you change whatever change you did will be applied so that concludes our tutorial for today but I haven't shown you how to how what will happen when you uninstall it so let's just let's just delete this one maybe I don't have to start the game since by just showing this to you the SRI recruit is completely untouched while our override mode has been deleted so the game will run just fine that's all thank you for watching and please subscribe for more videos